All right, Chris Brockman here with TJ Jefferson. We're going to rattle off our top five teams. We've been toying with what the name is of this. I think we finally hammered down the RES After Hours Power Five. We're going to give our top five teams in the National Football League each week. We're going to post these on Tuesday. Hopefully this will spark some debate for you guys, and we can kind of talk about it and see where the best teams in the league lay after each week. TJ, what did you think of week one? What stood out for you? Week one, what stood out for me is the Fresh Prince of Hilaire, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. <laughs> and the reason I say this to you is the size of the man. You know, what Coach O called, I think, two years ago yeah. and described him as being seven feet tall, 400 pounds. Five, seven. The man is really small. He's brolic, but he's short. So can he hold up over a 16 and possibly longer game season? That, that's just a question that I have. Yeah, I, I think for me, the superstars played like superstars, whether it was Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson. Those guys all balled out, and that's yeah. what we wanted to see week one. We were worried if there was going to be some rust. There was not, and I'm really excited to see what these guys do moving forward. All right, I'm going to give you my top five, my power five in the National Football League. After week one, number five, the Baltimore Ravens. Why aren't they higher? Well, they didn't really play anybody. They played the Cleveland Browns. They were at home. They did what they were supposed to do. I want to see what they look like against better competition moving forward. They have big games coming up against Houston and Kansas City. Number four, the New Orleans Saints. They were really impressive. They were at home, and they did what they had to do to take out Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Man, that sounds really weird to say those words all together. But the Saints look good. Uh, I'm worried maybe Drew Brees isn't the Drew Brees we're used to seeing, but with all the weapons he has around him, I don't think it's really going to matter. Number three, the Green Bay Packers. Wow, they looked great. I, I wasn't sure what to expect from them coming in and playing Minnesota. I thought Minnesota's defense would play a lot better. They did not. Aaron Rodgers is pissed off, and man, he looks good. He looks hungry for another MVP. Number two for me, the Seattle Seahawks. They went on the road, across country, down to Atlanta, and handled their business. Russell Wilson, man, was that the greatest game I've ever seen Russell Wilson play? It might be. Four touchdowns. He was really efficient. Uh, Chris Carson was doing his thing. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. That team's really tough to beat. And number one, hey, look, for me, you're the champs until somebody beats you. And Kansas City is the number one team because they took care of business on opening night. Patrick Mahomes did Patrick Mahomes things. And like you said, what are we calling him? The Fresh Prince of Hilaire? The Fresh Prince of Hilaire. That's pretty nice, man. He is really, really good. And I think he's going to challenge the rookie rushing record. What say you, TJ Jefferson? All right, my top five. And again, we're not trying to overreact here. It's one week into the season. That being said, I'm giving the fifth spot to the Buffalo Bills. Look, there's a few teams that could have been penciled in at five, but the Bills had some lofty expectations for the first time since the 1920s. They're favored to win their division. I don't think mu movies had sound the last time they were, they were favored to, to win the East. So Josh Allen, he looks strong. I mean, like I said, high expectations, and they pulled through. They beat the Jets. We're going to see how the season goes, but I'm going to give Buffalo uh, the number five spot at four. It took me three quarters to really kind of make up my mind. I told you I wouldn't make this list until after the games were over. I'm putting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Look, the defense was stout last year. They went eight and eight with quarterbacks like Mason Rudolph and Duck Devlin. So we just needed to know if Ben Roethlisberger was going to come back and be the Ben that he was. He's not. He's not Big Ben. He's Slim Ben Roethlisberger right now. I'm putting the Steelers in at four. Number three, I'm with you on Russell Wilson and those Seahawks. What more needs to be said? Russ is a machine. The fact that the man's never received one MVP blasphemy. vote is, I don't know what's more blasphemous, that or Ken Crazy. Griffin Jr. not being, uh, you know, unanimously inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, got Seattle at three. They're looking strong. At number two, I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it's what we expected. We have an MVP quarterback. You're expecting big things out of them, and they came through. Looking forward to watching them. And uh, at number one, to quote the greatest professional wrestler of all time, the nature boy Ric Flair, to be the man, you got to beat the man. And right now, until somebody beats them, the Kansas City Chiefs are your reigning, defending, 
Super Bowl champions. And uh, because of that, I got to put them in that number one spot. I like it. That's a great list. Okay, guys, tune in every Tuesday. We're going to have our Power Five. We're going to do who's rising, who's falling. Going to throw some red and green arrows on these as the season goes along. But that's it for week one. Great job, TJ.